known as Elf Kitchen. And today I'm going to show you a yummy, yummy sweet dish that is Pat Roa. It's a really scrumptious and a surprising kind of a different dish which is rarely made in India. So for that, all ingredients you need are, come on guys. Uh, so guys, the ingredients you need are, here I have 250 grams of icing sugar. Then I'll be using cream, somewhere around uh, 500 ml of cream, a little bit, it's according to your taste. Uh, and according to your preference, how much quantity of cream you need into your dish. It's the thick whipping cream, the double cream or the thick whipping cream I'll be using here. I have 2 teaspoons of corn flour powder. Some sugar which I'll be adding into whipping cream. Uh, so whipping cream and sugar. The 250 gram of sugar will be added into the egg white. And the little bit of sugar powder here will be added into the creaming. Then I have white wine vinegar. This is 1 teaspoon. And guys remember the white wine vinegar or the red wine vinegar are totally halal. Muslims also can use it as uh, the when the wine goes through the procedure of vinegar, it lo loses its nature of alcohol which makes it completely halal. So guys, there is no need for you to worry uh, if you would not like to take the wine etc. This is a totally halal and it has loss of uh, uh, alcohol. So it is halal guys. So need not worry. Then here I have four egg whites. So now we will start with the preparations. So guys, as I told you, we'll start with the preparations. Here I took the four egg whites. Now with the help of a balloon beater, I'll be mixing it. So guys, uh, once your egg white is slightly for me, light, lightly for me, We'll be going, uh, going and adding the 250 grams of icing sugar. I repeat, this is 250 grams of icing sugar. I'll be adding it into the egg white. I'll beat some more and add again. So then add the leftover 250 grams of uh, icing sugar. Icing sugar is nothing much than uh, the little quantity of corn flour into a large quantity of sugar powder. You can log into my videos to see how to make icing sugar too. Then mix it well. Till it gets into nice pink stage. We should get the nice pink stage into the egg white. We'll be beating till then you can see it has come to nice peak stage and you can see the batter is not falling down so once it comes to the peak stage nicely it comes to the peak stage I'll be adding the white wine vinegar that is one teaspoon and I showed you in the video and then corn flour that is two teaspoon one teaspoon of uh, white vinegar and uh, one teaspoon of corn flour two teaspoons of corn flour and slowly cut, fold, cut, fold. In this way, mix up with the whole batter. Restart. So guys, once you mix the corn flour and the vinegar into the batter, now slowly divide this into two and bake each part for approximately uh, on the, in the microwave for 150 degree for approximately 45 minutes. So guys, uh, once you put the batter onto the uh, moraine batter onto the plate, so we have to divide other half I have kept it for the other plate, other uh, layer. So I have divided the batter into two. This is one batter. Uh, another batter is already there in the bowl, which I'll be putting it into the other tray. So guys, so once you keep it on the micro, once you keep it in the microwave, uh, the temperature you should set is one fifty degree for 45 minutes so to be in the better preference and to be better, to be in the safer side i'll be keeping it for 40 minutes to 42 minutes or 43 minutes 
and I'll press start. I have kept the two layers in intervals of time. If you don't have the microwave so big to keep the two layers, you can bake one by another. Once it gets baked, again in the same procedure, you can bake the other one. Sir, no, yeah. Cut how? Cut the two layers. So guys, as you can see, I have made two flat moraines like uh, moraines like cake layers uh, out of the batter what you made out of egg white and sugar. So guys, now we will start with the creaming. Guys, I have made it flat and long. You don't make it like that. You make it short and thick so that you get the nice small and a thick form like layer. Mine is too uh, flat and it's too thin you don't make it like that you don't spread the batter too much you just keep it into middle so that it be nice thick and uh, looks nice it's nice to see also and it'll gain a good height but i have made them flat here i here i have some uh, dry fruits kiwis dry kiwis figs uh, black currants almonds apples and i'll be using some of this crush the berry crush here Raspberry, strawberry, all the very, very crusher. Then I'll be using the cream, the fresh whipped cream, some sugar powder according to taste, and ice cube to whip the cream. So now we will start with the creaming. And whip the cream, you need to have the thick whipping cream, little bit of sugar powder or the castor powder, castor sugar powder. Then sugar powder, sugar powder or the castor powder is according to the taste, but always see you add a very less amount of sugar powder in the cream because it uh, like it makes the cream too liquidish or it just spoils the texture of the thickness of the cream so always add a very less amount of sugar powder or the castor powder into the cream while whipping then always remember that your cream is very cool zero degrees somewhere to the zero degree celsius so that uh, your cream is beaten well and nice and thick and whipped well and uh, while whipping remember that you put the ice cube below the bowl and on top of that you keep the cream bowl and then whip it to get the better and the thick result while whipping. So for that, I'll be taking a bowl where I'll be adding the ice cubes. I'll be adding the ice cube so that uh, it retains its coolness and get whipped very well. Once you put the ice cube below, here I have the ice cubes. Here I have the cream. I'll be adding more of cream into it as I need a large quantity of cream. Here I'll be adding the whipped thick cream. I'll be showing you how to whip it now. Always remember guys, down I have a bowl full of ice to maintain the temperature of the uh, cream. And from top I'm pouring the cream into it. Pour the cream as much as you need. Now I'll show you how to whip it. So guys, now I am taking a balloon beater as you can see. Balloon whipper or the wired whipper and I'll be whipping it till the cream becomes thick. See that your ice is kept below and see that you put in a steel utensil the cream so that it absorbs the temperature and get the temperature very well. In this way I'll be whipping the cream. So guys, uh, while you're whipping the cream, see that you add the castor sugar or the sugar, but see that you add a very less of amount, sugar powder, and slowly whip it into the cream. So guys, in this way we will whip the cream. In this way we will whip the cream till it's nice, thick and uh, creamy, nice, thick. Uh, we'll be whipping the cream. As you can see, the cream is so thick and yummy, guys. This is the way you whip the whipped cream. Well, the ice cubes are very important to maintain the temperature of the cream. Otherwise, your cream won't get thick. So guys, as you can see here, you're getting the lovely thick cream. Now you can cream it over your cake, pastries and you can have it the way you like. So guys, once you get the nice thick cream, just spread it over the layer of the cake in this way. This way, you'll be spreading it over the cake or the layered 
layered meringue, the chewy meringue, the marshmallow kind of meringue. Then, guys, we will be laying another layer of uh, palolova or the meringue cake. Before that, we will see that we keep the pieces of fruits into it. In this way, as it will taste really yummy and scrumptious. This way, we will be keeping the fruits. Apple into it, in this style. So guys, now over it, I'll be laying the next paleloa or the uh, meringue cake over it. Or you can call the chewy meringue. So guys, uh, once you, first, uh, as you know, as I laid the paleloa down, then I layered the cream, then I added fruits over it. Then again, the another layer of paleloa. Then I added the fresh cream again on top of that. Add as much as cream you like and it'll taste really yams. In this way, Nice and thick. You should do this procedure fast so that it doesn't start sweating. Then again, I'll be layer, layering the fresh layers of fruits. Guys, you can go ahead and use strawberries, bananas, anything you like as it will taste really rich and yummy. This way, you can lay the fruits and then some almonds. You like the taste of almonds? Uh, I can I can even use the very berry with the uh, raspberries and strawberries in it. But right now, I'll be just satisfied with the yummy yummy dry fruits I have here. Then I'll be filling it with the almonds. After laying, after laying all the almonds, etc. Here I have some blueberries. I'll be placing the blueberries in the middle. Then some fresh figs. So guys, here you can see the yummy, yummy paleroa. As you can see, the richness of fruits, fresh fruits. Guys, you can fill it with strawberries, bananas. It will really taste yums and scrumptious, guys. Looking so attractive and yum too. So guys, here we have done with the yummy, yummy dessert of the paleroa. So please guys, don't forget to like and subscribe my videos. Bye-bye.